Hey guys, Justin from Talk Android here with Google's Chromecast Ultra. It's its flagship streaming device that launched late last year alongside the Google Pixel and Google Home. We're going to show you how to set it up. The device itself is actually really tiny. It's about the size of maybe a large chocolate chip cookie, um, or you can just say it looks like a tiny hockey puck. And what this does is unlocks access to services like YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Spotify, HBO Now, CBS, Pandora, Google Play, Showtime, iHeartRadio, and a bunch more. So this is really is an entertainment hub. So in the box itself, you get the power cable with the Chromecast Ultra. So one end is the wall adapter, the other end is the micro USB connector. We're going to connect the micro USB connector to the micro USB port on the Chromecast Ultra. It's really easy, just pop it in there and then you're ready to move on to the next step. Now you can take the wall adapter and connect it to a power source, you know, a wall outlet will do. Now that you have power, you can take the HDMI connector on the Chromecast Ultra and pop it into the HDMI port on your display. The next step requires an Android device or an iOS device, but here we're using Android, so open up the Play Store on your phone or tablet and download Google Home. It's formerly known as Google Cast or the Chromecast app. Now it's Google Home, just a bunch of rebranding. And you'll see that this app is where you're going to operate Chromecast, Chromecast Ultra, Chromecast Audio, and Google Home. So it's an all-in-one app. Once the Google Home app is successfully installed on your device, open it, go through the steps, which Google will easily direct you through. They'll need access to a few things, and then it'll search for devices nearby. And then you're going to be prompted to allow your Chromecast Ultra to connect to your device. So you want to allow that to happen, otherwise you will not get a connection. So you see it says your mobile device will switch to a temporary Wi-Fi hotspot for the benefit of your Chromecast Ultra. This is just so it can communicate for the first time, and so the setup for a wireless connection is a lot easier. And now it says successfully connected, and then check your television to see if the code has appeared there. It should, unless you have a mess of devices operating on the same network. And then you're going to name your device. Here I'm saying bedroom uh, Chromecast because that's where I'm going to put my Chromecast, so you can name it whatever you'd like. For a couple of moments, or around two minutes, your Chromecast Ultra is going to update itself. That's perfectly fine if it takes a while. This is a new device. Google is constantly rolling out software updates, so there's nothing to worry about. Just let the Chromecast Ultra update, and then you'll be on your way to streaming shortly. Once the update is complete, Google will tell you you're ready and show you that the cast button is your best friend. You can manage devices, that's where it shows a whole list. You'll see what I have, a Google Home, multiple Chromecast, and even an Nvidia Shield. Let's open up YouTube now that your Chromecast and phone are synced with each other. Hit the cast button at the top, choose your Chromecast Ultra's name, then you're gonna see YouTube automatically launches. You can go back to the app, Choose a video here. I chose James Corden and Gwen Stefani's Carpool Karaoke from the Late Late Show. If possible, it'll stream in 4K. This, I don't think, comes in 4K. So, this has been how you set up the Chromecast Ultra. You can buy it right now for $59. Otherwise, it's normally $69. We're not sure if that is a permanent price cut. So, if you have any questions about setting up your Chromecast, hit us up in the comments.